Amplified 2022 is already kicking off with a bang and it hasn't even started yet. Take a look at this. Humankind Cultures of Africa pack. The first DLC and it's going to bring a lot of content with it including new cultures to every era. So having a quick look on Steam you can see it's a relatively cheap and accessible pack. I'm guessing that's around 7 to 10 US dollars. It's fairly cheap. There's a lot of content included in it. Let's jump in and take a deep dive into the two trailers that were released and I've combed through some other information that is publicly available online so that we can try and figure out what the six new cultures from the Cultures of Africa pack brings. Here they are, Bantu in the ancient era. Then in the classical era, we have the Garamantis. Don't really know a lot about them personally, but I have heard much of the Swahili in the medieval era, followed by the Maasai in the early modern era. Moving through into humankind's fifth era, the industrial were hit with the Ethiopians. Particularly exciting, I reckon. And finally, the Nigerians in the contemporary era, rounding out the six new cultures being introduced to humankind. We also have new wonders of the world. In fact, not just one, but five wonders. Uh, I believe four of them are natural and one of them can be constructed. Indeed, it is a great mosque. There are some other gameplay features as well, but it's important to note at the end of the trailer there, the other key piece of information was that this DLC pack releases on the 20th of January, round about the time that the Amplified Festival, their studio festival, has always run historically, and we know that we're expecting a humankind day to play out today. There are a few other features that I should cover on the DLC before we deep dive into that kind of detail that you're just seeing on screen. Don't worry, I've got screenshots and everything. We're gonna really study those in a minute. But you should also know that there are some other gameplay features that we've at least so far been teased in the game. Although do take a look there at a new district if you want to get some new artwork on that. Again, we'll talk about more on that in a minute. But I should also note that there are some new events being added to the game. It may not be exciting for a lot of players, but I think it does help add to the diversity of play. We have, I believe, 15 new events, and as noted in this trailer that you're watching right now, uh, some of them will be multi-era events. Those are the ones that I love in particular. Those ones that play out over time, over a long period of time. You're also seeing here some footage of the new wonders and the beautiful development team at Amplitude Studios behind Humankind Game. A massive shout out to them. I think what we should probably do now is take a deep dive into the new cultures because we actually have some information on them including their culture types and maybe even some hints at their units and also their emblematic quarters. Let's jump straight in. Here you can actually see on screen some of those events I was talking about but first up in era one and actually the one that we know the most about we have the Bantu. The Bantu are an expansionist culture coming to era one that will likely make them very strong. Think the Assyrians and the power that they have now in the current humankind meta. The Bantu expansion historically focused around a series of major migrations and the NTU speaking group from central West Africa across much of sub-Saharan Africa. Here is what the culture actually looks like. Take a look. Bantu. And also, sorry, you'll have to forgive the quality. This is early days. We don't have a lot of official. Anyway, Bantu, as I say, they're an expansionist culture. You receive plus two influence per number of adjacent empires on your territory. How spicy is that? Their emblematic quarter automatically upgrades from the regular outpost, so it works in the same way that the Huns do, for example, very nomadic. But you also receive plus 10 food on adjacent cities if fortified. And finally, they have a unique unit with 13 combat strength and four movement. This one definitely looks like more of a scouting unit than a fighting one. We know that much for sure. Let's remind ourselves of the other cultures as well, as you can see on screen. Uh, in the second era, in era two, the classical, we have the Garamantes. They are an agrarian culture. I think that's really useful for the agrarian uh, whole meta, actually, to have an additional choice in era two. Looking forward to getting more information on that one. We don't have a lot right now. In era three, that's the medieval era, we are going to be given the Swahili. All we know about them so far is that they're going to be a merchant culture. Nothing more I can say about that. Moving forward into the next era, in era four, again, you're going to see the cultures play through on your screen here, just to reinforce who they are. In era four, we have the Maasai. Uh, they are historically known as fierce pastoralist people. 
of, of their land, but they've also achieved warrior status, single-handedly, quote, killing a lion with a spear. The Maasai, yet, are an agrarian culture. Maybe we can expect a strong unit out of this agrarian culture. I'm not sure, but I'm also equally pleased to see another agrarian in the game. So far, they've been relatively rare, so it's nice to see them being a little more populated, forgive the pun. In episode five, or era five, if you're a normal human being who hasn't been functioning off two hours sleep, we're given the Ethiopians. They are a militarist culture. They are the only militarist culture that we're receiving in this DLC pack. We know a little bit about Ethiopia, and indeed, if you've followed history, you'll know a little more. I'm going to transition to some, as luck would have it, real, <laughs> real Earth African gameplay. As luck would have it, I happened to colonize Africa. Not even planned. And then finally, in Era 6, we have the Nigerians. Again, another agrarian culture. Interesting that we're seeing a theme there. Uh, to quote Amplitude, Nigeria unites a wide variety of cultures under the rule of one state. The variety of its terrain and the abundance of its hydraulic resources offer it significant agricultural possibilities and make it one of the West, one of West Africa's foremost producers, I'm assuming, of food. The Nigerians are another agrarian culture. Um, actually, again, not to sound like a broken record, Quite excited about that. We'll have to see how they play out. There's some hints there, potentially, around uh, tech boosts, traits, natural resources, uh, emblematic quarters. There's something in that, but we'll have to wait for more. And that brings me to the next part of this video. What's next? Well, first up, we know, as I've covered already, it's going to release on the 20th of January. The 21st of January, if, like me, you live in the future. Next up... We know that the developers will be breaking down each of these cultures in separate videos over the next week. They covered that in one of the trailers and eagle-eyed viewers will have already observed that. So we should expect to see more detail on each and every one of these as the days unfold. And you can bet your backside that I will be covering each and every single one of them. So if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and you can join us and join what I'm hoping to hold one of the foremost humankind communities on the interwebs. So do consider that. The other thing it's important to note here as we take a little bit more of a step back thinking about what's next, I should also note that there are five wonders and over a dozen, they quoted 15, events and consequences in this pack as well. The main feature of it is clearly going to be these cultures. There's some really interesting developments and the modding community as well, I think, can maybe even learn and exchange some strategies and ideas out of this too. We also have those wonders coming. Now, we don't know a lot about them either, but what we do know is that four of them will be natural wonders. I suspect if the detail that we've learned already about humankind's new DLC culture, Bantu, is anything to go by, then maybe we'll see some more new, unique or you want, nuanced uh, abilities out of these wonders. Lake Natron, Mount Kilimanjaro, Victoria Falls, to name a few. These are iconic things. It would be nice if they took a different direction with them, potentially even an agrarian direction with one or two. It's also important to note that we're getting one and just one new cultural wonder to construct the Great Mosque of Dijin. My goodness, he's uncultured. Either way, um, those are the other new things coming in. Humankind, the Cultures of Africa DLC pack. I don't have any more information to cover today, so we're going to sign off this video here. But like I say, do stay tuned. There is going to be plenty more to cover, particularly, of course, as we reflect on what's next and we head towards Humankind Day and Amplified, their three-day studio-wide festival focusing on everything humankind and endless at universe. Do stick around, that's coming out in a week, and we're going to hear loads more detail on these cultures, I'm sure. I'm Jumbo Pixel, and I will see ya in the next one. Take care, everybody, and bye bye